That's pretty cool, the fact that he's trying out BB Tag, man. Okay. Uh, learning a little bit about oh. BB Tag here and there. Where is the part where he gets into, like, what characters that he wants to play? But he's pretty much exploring the command list and going through the characters. Seemed like he liked S, from from my understanding. And he's picking other characters. Weiss. Let's go, Weiss. Do you like Weiss, my boy? Or are you... Oh, he's playing the computer, I think. That's nice, actually. Oh, come on. Jump cancel, Robidu. Come on. You got this, bro. Ooh. Damn, the computer is a bitch. Let's go. Gra grab him. There you go. Come on, Susano. Let's go. Get in there. Oh, this freaking input reading mother Pfeiffer, dude. You got this, Robidu. Yeah, get him. Gotta jump cancel that boy. Oh, come on. Let's go. There you go. Get him. Woo. This is actually hype, dude. I would love to see like a tournament just consisting of VTubers. That would be so much fun. Sorry for the barking dog. Susano Beam? <laughs> Let's go! Man, I'm glad that he played BB Tag, dude. It makes me really happy to see people try out BB Tag for the first time. It's a very niche game and it's uh it's very easy to get into as well. You can definitely just dick around and just have a good time and press buttons and play your favorite characters from persona to uh, arcana hearts to sandra and kagra to blaze blue to under Knight to ruby anything and you can just pair them up and see the interactions i think the interactions is one of the biggest spectacles of bb tag too i hope that he keeps learning he said he was gonna keep playing and i can't wait to see his progress if that's the case because that's the fun part about fighting games man you get to see the progress in the people that play the games it's so much fun it's like an anime dude it's like when goku first started to freaking learn the kamehameha now look at him now fighting against universes and stuff it's like like, oh my god, he's so amazing. I remember when he was just a wee lad this big. I remember when he first met Bulma. Yada, yada, yada. So, like, it's it's fun, man. It's fun. Let's go, Robidu. You keep doing you, boy. You'll keep doing you. Best boy. What fighting game should I start playing first? I have zero skills and knowledge about fighting games. And since I'm watching your watching non-VTuber content, I'm interested in playing some fighting games. Hey, hey, here's the thing with fighting games. Fighting games, it's like a soda you want to drink. You gotta pick your favorite one. Mountain Dew looking good for you? Nice. I'll take a Mountain Dew. Pepsi looking good? You a Coke type of guy? Drink some Coke. It's the same exact thing. There's multiple fighting games that you can choose from. If you like Under Knight, if you like BB Tag, if you like Tekken, if you like King of Fighters, Samurai Showdown, Dragon Ball Fighters, Guilty Gear, whatever your, your, your flavor of fighting game you like, you gotta pick that fighting game because unless you're a fighting game enthusiast or a nut like me, there's gonna be a fighting game that you see that looks really cool. Those characters look cool or those combos look cool or just the whole aesthetic of the game looks cool. You're going to want to pick that. Then after that, just have fun with the game. If it has single player content, man, go for it. Play arcade mode. Go do trials mode. Do combos. Try and do as much as you can with the game. Just have fun. Press buttons. See what you can do. See what you can figure out. Once you want to learn cool things and the trials modes and challenge mode is not enough for you, I would suggest going to YouTube or Discords or different places where you can find resources for you to basically do the cool things that you want to do. So, let's say that you want to play Dragon Ball Fighters and you saw a really cool Gogeta combo or a really cool uh, UI Goku combo or whatever. There's lots of resources for specific games. So like Dragon Ball has a lot of resources, a lot of YouTubers that make tutorials, guides, tips and tricks. Find those guys on YouTube because they make your life so much easier. They basically skip an entire process of learning a fighting game in, in one video. With that, you learn and you try to copy it in the lab. And it's not going to be overnight. It's not an overnight success. It takes some time. Once you get that down, it feels really good because you start to see progression. And progression is the name of the game when it comes to fighting games. And then after that, of course, you watch some matches, you watch tournaments, and you start to see, oh, this character can do a whole lot that I didn't know they can do. And then you might copy paste it. But that's going into more deeper into learning fighting games and such. But I'll say this for those of you who want to learn fighting games and for those, and I've been saying this for a long time. I've, I've been saying this for years, ever since I, I heard it from in my own, with my own ears. Ever since I heard it, I've been preaching it. Fighting games are like anime. 
you basically get to see your own progression. You start off as a little scrub, as a little sprout, and then over time, over a couple episodes, a couple seasons, a couple arcs, things happen, experiences happen, you get new powers, you get new techniques, and you start to become better and better every time. And at the, at the end of your freaking anime, which is prop hopefully never, you get to see the progression, if you know what I mean. And then you go into the almighty tournament arc, where you go into a local or a major, and you get to see, uh, test your skills and see other people's uh, uh, techniques and skills and all that stuff. And fighting games are anime, dude. It's basically your own anime. That's what I would do to get into fighting games if you don't know anything about them. Oh, by the way, if you're new to fighting games, one thing that you have to know. You have to know this. Wi-Fi is not acceptable for fighting games. Period. Period. And if you can't connect directly to the router, get a power line adapter, boys. It's better than Wi-Fi, because at least you'll have a consistent connection. You might have the best Wi-Fi connection of all time, but you will not have a consistent one. Power adapt- power line adapters are amazing. No high five for Wi-Fi. Exactly, Rogue Monkey. Exactly. Thanks for the bits, my friend. Get a wire or get out. Exactly. Speak. Preach, my dudes. Power line adapters are on Amazon. You can buy it on Amazon pretty easily. I used to rock a power line adapter. What it is, it connects to your- to your plug next to your router and then you plug the ethernet to that little thing in your plug and to your router and then you go over and then that's the little device and there's a second device that you connect next to your computer in a plug and then you connect that to your uh to your ethernet port on your computer and that's pretty much like it's not as good as hard like connected directly unless it's a really good power line adapter but nonetheless it's better than than wired oh god 